Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a couple things. We're getting ready for our um, illustration project, and we need to take one of our sketches or a drawing we made in Photoshop into Illustrator. Now, I want you to see something that happens. If I go and I open up a image that is a JPEG, uh, when it comes in, first of all, it's going to be might be huge. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out, and you can see how big it is. I'm going to just use my black arrow tool, hold down Shift and Alt, and shrink it towards the middle here. So I want to start painting on top of this. And uh, this is in layer one, and I'm going to make a new layer. And you'll see that uh, if I lock layer one here, I want to start painting. I can't do it. It's not working right. Well, I don't want you to work from opening a JPEG. Instead, I want you to place a JPEG into an Illustrator document. So rather than opening an image you created in Photoshop or opening a, a picture we scanned in or, or a photograph you sent, I want you to import it. So let's show you how to do that. I'm going to close this out. And we make a new document, standard size. We click OK. And now we go to File, Place and then place the cartoon in. Now it looks exactly the same as what we had before but the difference is this time our picture has um, all its colors still. We have all of our styles attached to it. And none of that data is inside a JPEG traditionally so that's what we need to do. We need to place the document in. So whatever document you have just place it into a regular untitled document. Uh, I'm going to change the name of layer one here to uh, cartoon. And then I'm going to click on my object here, the picture, and I'm going to make it a lighter opacity. I'm going to make it semi transparent here. So about 50% there. All right, so I can still see it, but it's not super obvious. I'm going to lock that layer and create a new layer, and this is where I'm going to put my lines. Okay, so now that I have my uh, document set up, I can start drawing. Now, I want to change my uh, brush to my brush tool and also get rid of any fills. Now, the default size of this brush is just this little, you know, boring black line. So, I want to show you also, as a secondary thing, how to import a uh, a uh, new brush that we're going to be using a lot for our drawings. This is just a really good brush. Now I didn't make it, um, this guy on, um, uh, I want to say it was DeviantArt had it. Anyway, uh, I have it saved here for the common drive. What you want to do is on your brush tool, find your brushes up here and where it says in the middle here, we have our little size, I want you to click the little arrow and then this little menu here. It flies out and I want to do an open brush library, scroll down, other brush, or other library. So, now, the file is uh, existing on the common drive for me. So, if you go to the common drive, DM, you'll see it, CK Hairbrush. And it's called CK Hairbrush, and it's just in common DM. Uh, if it's not there, we'll provide it for you in a uh, DM Daily, and you can load it from there. Now, once it's loaded, well, I'm not actually drawing with it yet, as you can see. Uh, but if it lists over here, we just need to double tap it, tap it until it comes up at the top here. And now, when you draw, you can see how it's creating some cool lines. I'm going to back out. Now, you can um, do this, and it's always going to make this skinny, fat, skinny line, which is a pretty nice calligraphic stroke. You can also adjust its parameters, though, by clicking that arrow then the little file menu and brush options. Now you can make it to where the pressure is adjusted via the pressure of your pen and you can change your little percentages here and watch what it does when you do that. Um, I can get a little skinnier, it didn't quite get as fat, you see that? I can press harder and it gets fatter skinnier. So you can do fat and skinny lines if you'd like that. It doesn't really matter if you like that or not, you can um, use it, not use it. I think you get a good line regardless. You can get a good line with a mouse using this brush. So at this point, 
what we want to do is um, basically start drawing lines and I want you to just set up drawing some lines now what the plan needs to be is that as you're tracing over okay sometimes you'll make mistakes it's okay I want you to draw lines that go too far I want them to cross over each other okay all right make sure they cross and overlap all right that's the key to this whole assignment is overlapping your brushes too far there we'll make it come back down yeah I'm just having trouble drawing this anyway so what you want to do is make sure that as you draw lines they cross over each other that there's extra sp spots on each line okay don't just do it and try and make it match exactly okay we'll clean it up later overlap the line okay alright every line needs to be overlapped I'm just gonna work on this and finish that up